Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the best Viper executes for Haven. So first up, for A site here, to do these lineups, you're going to need to establish long control. So you need to clear this angle and either force whoever was playing this to back up the site. Or if you push out and nobody's here, you need to have a teammate come and cover you in case someone does peek this. So first up, we have the toxic screen. And for this, all you want to do is jump on top of the barrel here in the corner. And there are these two flowers here. There's a big one right here and a small one right here. You just want to aim at the small one right here, just like this. Shoot your toxic screen. So this toxic screen allows you to just have to worry about this angle right here. And you don't have to worry about any of these angles. Obviously, there is a huge gap in heaven right here, but we will fix that with the poison cloud. So from the same spot on top of this wheelbarrow, you can throw your poison cloud. And all you want to do is aim at this gap of blue sky from the corner of this roof right here to the other part of this roof right here and just a simple left click throw the smoke lands on top of the site right here so in combination with the toxic screen there is no view from heaven that you can be seen from while you're pushing up to the site so if there is a person playing in heaven here they can't see you walk up at all to the site and the only angle they can get is a little angle right here so now for the first snake bite which is going to be for heaven all you want to do is jump on top of these sandbags and then jump on top of these stones right here there's a little gap above the roof right here that you can shoot at along the white wall of the tower just like this and basically aiming anywhere in this area will shoot your snake bite into heaven like this so even though there was a gap on the left side of this window they would have to be standing in your snake bite to just sit here and peek it so for the other snake bite, what I recommend you do is you pop your smokes and start walking up long, line up along this box here, and then you can easily shoot a snake bite to clear out this close right corner at the top of ramp. So anyone playing in this area will be forced to either back up this way or swing and take the gunfight. So the full A site execute should look something like this. So for B site, there's really two options. You could actually just use your poison cloud to deny information from the B players, or you could do a full execute. So if you just wanna use your poison cloud to deny information from the defending B site players, all you wanna do is walk into the corner right here, aim at the corner where these two pillars meet right here, and throw your poison cloud. This will land top mid, which allows you to randomly put it up so that way they can't peek top mid and get information about what you're doing. Obviously your team could slowly walk up mid and take an angle like this, or you could just be working a different part of the map entirely. So now for the execute and for the toxic screen, what I like to do is walk into the corner right in window here and aim between these two dark bricks using the mini map to line up. So it looks like this cutting off the right side of sight. So like this. So basically, once you push up into B site, you don't have to worry about this right side being able to see you. You only have to worry about clearing left, and then you can start taking a more aggressive position towards C link or back site. And for the best poison cloud placement, what you should do is jump out the window here and walk until you just about hit the edge of where the grass meets the brick on the ground. Crouch to use the box as cover here, and then you can aim right at this dark spot of all these green boxes just like this, and throw your poison cloud. And the position that you're standing in while you throw this also doesn't have to be very specific. So with both of these smokes up, your team can walk up and only have to worry about clearing this left side of sight. The right side of sight and A link are completely cut off, and the same with the C link. So now for snake bite lineup, there's not really any crazy lineups that you can do. So what I recommend is just putting up your smokes, and as you walk up, you can easily aim towards A link or C link to throw your snake bites out and stop the rotators from just running onto site. So the full B site execute should look something like this.
Finally, we have C site and these lineups are going to be very simple to just help you establish good site control. So first up for the toxic screen, all you want to do is walk into the corner at C long here and aim at the right side of this box right around this area where these leaves curve. So right about here. And this completely cuts off the right side of sight near the entrances that the defenders rotate from. I really like this screen because it gives the defenders less space to work with once they start trying to retake sight and gives your team more space to work with and start taking control of sight. Now from the same corner you want to throw your poison cloud. So all you want to do is aim where this light shingle of the roof right here and this dark shingle meet. So right here and then move your crosshair up until it's in line with the top of this wooden pole. So like this. Throw. Basically, this will land at the spot that the defenders will often like to peek or hold the op angle from, from behind platform right here and behind sight right here. And basically, the idea of this poison cloud is to allow your team to safely walk up without getting seen from anyone playing back sight. And once you clear this first part of sight, you can drop just your poison cloud to then start clearing the rest of the back sight, leaving your toxic screen up and providing cover from the defender's connector and garage. So now for the snake bite lineups, you're going to need to cross to this corner over here, and you can do that while your poison cloud is up. So like this. And for the first snake bite lineup, all you want to do is aim at this small light pillar that's next to this darker pillar right here. So right here. You don't need to be too exact. Shoot. And this snake bite lands perfectly at the defender's connector into C Link. Obviously, the snake bite prevents the rotators from just being able to freely run on the site. And for the second snake bite lineup from the same corner, all you want to do is aim at this white square at the top of the roof right here. Shoot. And this snake bite lands at this corner right here, which behind the box right here and this corner right here as well are a very common spot that people will play. So the full execute should look something like this. So those are what I believe to be the best Viper executes for Haven. If you guys want to see more Valorant videos and guides like this, then I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button.